Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another one of our tribute videos. Uh, unfortunately, we do these whenever we lose any of our rock and roll heroes, our music heroes. Today, uh, another one leaves us at the age of 74. We've lost the great German electronic music pioneer Klaus Schultz, born August 1st, 4th, 1947 in Berlin, Germany. Uh, he leaves us on April 26, 2022 at the age of 74. One of the uh, founders of the whole Berlin School of Electronic Music. Many of you uh, probably are familiar with him either from his very early days in Tangerine Dream. Uh, he appeared on their very, very first album, which was uh, called um, Electronic Meditation, of course, alongside the great Edgar Froese, who we also lost not that long ago. He also appeared on the uh, very first Ashra Temple album from 1971. But more importantly, uh, his use of various different uh, keyboards and sequencers and synthesizers helped pioneer this whole like electronic movement that was so big in Germany and felt all throughout uh, the entire universe, thanks to uh, much of his solo works, as well as, uh, you know, Tangerine Dream, as well as early Ashra Temple, the Cosmic Jokers, uh, who he was also a uh, briefly a member of as well. But a uh, lot, lot of different albums that are looked at very influentially uh, when you look at the career of Klaus Schultz. And uh, specifically, you know, in uh, 1972, he came out with his first album called uh, Earlicht. But there is a whole host of albums released throughout the 70s and the 80s. I mean, quite frankly, if you look at his discography, it's pretty prolific. He released a ton of studio and live albums and collaborations all throughout his career. He basically stopped uh, touring, I believe, like five, six years, maybe maybe it's close to 10 years ago. Uh, but he was regularly, you know, out there on the live circuit uh, in various countries around the world, bringing his big sound to stages and to audiences. You know, most people probably remember him for his uh, 1977 album, Mirage. Uh, as well as the 1976 Moon Dawn album, or even 75's Time Wind. But he's got like some really, really classic early mid 70s albums that I think that uh, most people kind of gravitate towards for his, you know, use of all sorts of, like I said, all sorts of different synthesizers uh, and keyboards. Like, for instance, on his uh, Moon Dawn album, which was released in 1976, you know, The Moog. The ARP 2600, the ARP Odyssey, EMS Synthi, Farfasa, uh, Synth Orchestra, all sorts of different sequencers and things like that. So some pretty interesting instruments used to create this kind of like otherworldly, spacey electronic music. I mean, you really can't classify the music of Klaus Schultz as rock. It's not really even prog. Look at any of those albums from his of the 70s or even a lot of the Tangerine Dream albums from the same time period. It's like this is just really uh, different kind of music, very meditative in spots, very spacey, very haunting and chilling. It's pretty groundbreaking, pretty groundbreaking stuff. And uh, I know he's always had a lot of fans, and we did want to kind of mention him here on the channel. I, I'll be the first to admit I haven't listened to a ton of his solo records. Uh, there's a couple from the mid-70s that uh, I own and I've listened to, and uh, it's pretty cool stuff, but man, it's what, what a discography over so many decades, and uh, he's going to be missed. So he leaves us at 74 years old, electronic music pioneer from Germany, Klaus Schultz. May he rest in peace. Uh, go pull out some of your classic Klaus Schultz albums today. Give them a listen. Celebrate the uh, life and the music of Klaus Schultz. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Visit us on the web at www.seeatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. See you real soon with more content here on the channel. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.